Welcome to the world of familial chaos and heartwarming laughter embodied in the 1968 film Yours, Mine, and Ours. As we delve into this classic Hollywood production, consider this. Which iconic actor from the movie left an indelible mark on your cinematic memories? Now, imagine the impact this delightful tale of blended families had on your own life. Can you recall a personal story sparked by the film that resonates with you? Alternatively, share your admiration for a classic Hollywood actor whose performance stood out as your favorite. Before we invite you to share your cherished memories, let's set the stage with some intriguing facts about the film. Directed by Melville Shavelson, Yours, Mine, and ours not only captures the essence of a large, blended family, but also mirrors the societal shifts of its time. The on-screen chemistry between Lucille Ball and Henry Fonda, two Hollywood legends, adds an extra layer of charm to this heartwarming narrative. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic film? Whether it's a nostalgic family movie night or a moment that touched your heart, share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your anecdotes contribute to the collective tapestry of appreciation for yours, mine, and ours, making the cinematic journey even more vivid and meaningful. So, without further ado, let the storytelling begin. Lucille Ball, co-producing the film under her company Dezulu Productions, did not foresee the unexpected success of yours, mine, and ours. The movie, made on a $1.25 million investment, grossed over $1.17 million, catching Ball off guard. Her lack of preparation for the film's massive box office triumph meant she didn't set up a tax shelter for her profits. Consequently, a significant portion of her share ended up going to taxes. Despite the financial surprise, interesting anecdotes from the film's production emerge. Tim Matheson, reflecting on the shooting of a breakfast scene, humorously recounted Lucy's advice, always rehearse with your props. Additionally, the wedding scene in the movie was filmed at the Old Mission Dolores Church in San Francisco, a historical site that sees rare use for services, functioning more as a tourist attraction. The juxtaposition of the old church with the adjacent modern one, built post the 96 earthquake, adds a unique touch to the film's setting. Yours, mine, and ours not only left a lasting impact on the audience, but also became a financial milestone for Lucille Ball, albeit an unexpected one. The film's success showcased Ball's versatility, not just as a legendary actress, but also as a shrewd producer who, in this instance, missed predicting the magnitude of her own creation's triumph. The blend of financial surprises and behind-the-scenes anecdotes makes the film's legacy as intriguing as the family dynamics portrayed on screen. Helen Eileen Beardsley, author of Who Gets the Drumsticks? The source material for the 1968 family film passed away on April 26, 2000 in Healdsburg, California, USA, succumbing to Parkinson's disease at the age of 70. Her book provides an alternate perspective to the cinematic portrayal of her life. In it, Helen shared the unconventional way she and Frank Beardsley met, a tale diverging from the on-screen narrative. Unlike the movie's depiction, Helen's introduction to Frank unfolded through a connection with Mother Superior Sister Mary Eleanor, who ran a parochial school in San Francisco. Helen, a widow with eight children, enrolled her kids in the school, learning that Sister Mary had a brother, Frank, with ten children, recently widowed due to complications from diabetes. Their interaction began with a simple exchange of a comforting prayer. Helen's subsequent attempt to console a grieving friend brought her back in contact with Frank, sparking a correspondence that eventually led to a fateful blind date. While the film emphasizes the comedic chaos of blending two large families, Helen's real-life account adds depth to the narrative, showcasing the unexpected paths that life, loss, and love can take. This unique backstory sheds light on the genuine and touching aspects of the Beardsley family's journey, giving viewers a richer understanding of the real events that inspired the heartwarming film. Interestingly, two decades after the 1968 movie, some cast members reunited for a different project. The Doctor, portrayed by Tom Bosley and Tracy Nelson, who played one of the youngest children in yours, mine, and ours, collaborated again 21 years later in Father Dowling Mysteries. This reunion, while unrelated to the film, serves as a noteworthy footnote in the careers of these actors. The legacy of yours, mine, and ours extends beyond the on-screen portrayal, delving into the remarkable real-life circumstances that brought the Beardsley family together. Helen Eileen Beardsley's book provides a compelling starting point to explore the rich tapestry of this unconventional love story that captured the hearts of audiences in 1968. 
After the unexpected triumph of yours, mine, and ours, Lucille Ball found herself in a unique position. The film's commercial success not only showcased Ball's prowess as a producer, but also paved the way for the green lighting of the Brady Bunch by ABC and Paramount Studios. The financial windfall from the Beardsley family story had a ripple effect, influencing subsequent projects in the industry. Amidst the on-screen chaos of blending two large families, the cast of yours, mine, and ours developed a genuine bond. Morgan Brittany and Kimberly Beck, reflecting on their time during filming, have highlighted that the cast became like a family off-screen as well. The camaraderie among the actors added an authentic touch to the film's portrayal of family dynamics, resonating with audiences who witnessed the chaos and love on screen. Lucille Ball's connection to the Beardsley family extended beyond the film set. After acquiring the rights to the book that inspired the movie, Ball formed a close relationship with the Beardsleys. Going above and beyond, she treated the entire family to a vacation at Disneyland, solidifying the genuine connection between the producer and the real-life family that inspired the heartwarming story. In essence, yours, mine, and ours not only left an indelible mark on the box office, but also played a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of television with the creation of The Brady Bunch. The film's success not only brought financial rewards, but also forged lasting friendships among its cast, reflecting the authentic portrayal of family life that resonated with audiences. In yours, mine, and ours, a lesser known but intriguing fact adds a layer of reality to the on-screen family dynamics. At the film's conclusion, Mike, the eldest son on the Beardsley side, makes a pivotal decision to join the Marines. Interestingly, in real life, Tim Matheson, the actor portraying Mike, served in the Essex Reserves. This connection between the character's storyline and the actor's real-life experience adds a genuine touch to the film's portrayal of family and duty. The movie concludes with the birth of a baby, Joseph John Beardsley. Born in the early hours of July 14, 1962, this event mirrors the heartwarming culmination of the film's chaotic yet endearing family journey. The on-screen birth serves as a symbolic representation of the unity and love that triumphs over the challenges faced by the blended Beardsley family. Amidst the filming of yours, mine, and ours, rumors and speculations about the personal lives of the cast circulated. During a Barbara Walters interview, Jane Fonda claimed that her father, Henry Fonda, was deeply in love with Lucille Ball, and the two were very close during the production of the film. While the accuracy of such claims remains uncertain, it adds an element of intrigue to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the cast and the relationships forged during the making of the movie. These lesser-known aspects of yours, mine, and ours offer a glimpse into the intricacies of the film beyond the scripted scenes. The blending of real-life experiences with on-screen storytelling creates a unique tapestry that goes beyond the conventional family comedy. The choices made by the actors and the personal connections formed during the production contribute to the enduring legacy of this cinematic gem. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey we've embarked upon, I encourage you to delve into the recesses of your memories and unearth the treasures associated with the timeless tale we've just explored. Yours, mine, and ours is more than a movie. It's a mirror reflecting the intricacies of familial bonds and the delightful chaos that ensues. As you step away from the screen, take a moment to ponder the echoes of laughter, the resonance of shared moments, and the poignant threads of connection that this cinematic gem has woven into your personal narrative. What reflections has this cinematic masterpiece stirred within you? Was it the uproarious family dynamics that struck a chord, or perhaps the tender moments that linger in the corners of your recollection? Share your thoughts, your cherished snippets of nostalgia, and let the conversation flow like the river of time. In the grand tapestry of life, films like yours, mine, and ours serve as catalysts, sparking conversations that transcend the silver screen. Your unique perspective adds a brushstroke to this collective canvas, creating a mosaic of shared experiences that resonate with the human spirit. Thank you for accompanying me on this cinematic expedition. Your presence has enriched the narrative, and your reflections are the jewels that adorn the crown of this shared journey. Until our paths cross again, may your memories of yours, mine, and ours be as enduring as the bonds it so beautifully celebrates. Gratefully and cinematically yours.